I used to be a, a happy person. I was always a happy person. Um, I remember back since I was a child, I used to love to sing. I used to sing all the time. I loved going outside. Um, my husband and I, my husband and I got married at a really young age. I remember he was really funny. He used to make me laugh a lot, and it was very different when he would make me laugh than when others would make me laugh. For the first few years of our marriage, we were living at his parents' house. And I remember when um, he was out working, when he would get home, I used to get really excited when I was waiting for him to get home. And uh, we really wanted to move out soon and get our own place. So I took a job at a local clothing store. I'm a very friendly person. I like talking to everybody, but I also get a lot of male attention. And I don't really care about that, but my husband, he, he, he would get really jealous and we started having a lot of problems in our marriage because of that. And I told him, but we really need the money to get a place of our own. And I told him, I'm going to quit as soon as we get the down payment for our own place. And then I said, you're going to think that way anyways, Marrano. And I shouldn't have said that. And I got quiet. And I told him, don't leave me a And he said, I could never leave you. I just need to cool off. And that's the very last time that I would ever see my viejo. As I known him, he came back damaged broken, screaming. We found him screaming under a tree in our backyard. The police had to come in the ambulance. They had to restrain him and he was screaming, Pájaro, Pájaro, for two days straight. And the reporters, they wouldn't leave us alone. We would move around a lot, money or not, and they would always find us. They would always find us. They even found the nurses that would attend to my husband at home and in the hospital. It got a little bit better over the years and I knew to leave him alone every January. He would wake up screaming so many nights though and we couldn't even watch any movies that had hospitals or birds. My he was he was gone. He was my whole life. Maybe that stupid bird dropped him twice, I don't know. He took away the best part of him and he left me with this man that I could only like whisper to for years. Some of you mock what happened to us in that town. Some of you don't even believe, but my husband died that day. Maybe you could believe that.